Check this out. Y'all know Liberty Hazleton? This is a whole fact. This shit I'm about to say. You know some niggas was, was, was running down on a nigga and the nigga had the nerve to walk up to me and say, yo, these niggas is following me and my wife. And you know I walked dead up to them niggas and asked them niggas what they fucking deal was. Ask DZ if I did that. DZ was dead. That's one of the niggas. That's the nigga that's the honest one. Ask DZ what happened. So we was in Las Vegas. Hold on. Let me say something. Yeah, nigga. Spree well, nigga. Ask Troy and them. Them niggas probably still mad at me. So hold on. This is just to go show you just how ungrateful niggas is. We was in Las Vegas. He's not from Las Vegas. We was in Las Vegas. Some niggas walked up to was following him and his wife. The nigga walked up to me and said something to me. And it was about seven or eight of them. I walked up to the niggas on my fucking own and asked them about their fucking business. In the city I'm not from, nigga. Put my life on the line. My life. I'm out there in, in Vegas, nigga. You think them... What? I put my life on the line. My life. DZ was there. He was there with his people. Somewhere. I don't even know if you know what happened. Be honest with you. A grown ass man walked up to me and told me that some dudes was following him. And I turned around and I, I stepped to their business. And this nigga got the nerve. Now do you see why I'm pissed? Niggas is pussy. I said it. Now talk about how I got into a fight with three niggas and didn't run. Go talk about that. Go talk about how them niggas was looking at you and your wife and you was shitting yourself. For everybody that don't know, Liberty Hazleton is about 5'4". These are facts. DZ was there. I don't know if he saw what happened. I don't care if nobody else know. I know and you know and your wife know. I don't need nobody else to know. I know, you know, and your wife know. And I hope she hear me saying this. So the next time she having sex with you, she can think about how you have to ask me to protect your ass. I don't need nobody else to know the truth. I don't need nobody else to know. Yeah, he pussy pussy. He pussy pussy. A nigga following him and his wife. And he walked over to me. Get back to the TJ shit. My apologies. Niggas has sent me some shit talking crazy. Don't send me no shit. Don't talk crazy to me, homie. You pussy. I know and you know. And I don't care what anybody else think. I grew up with narcissists. I don't care if you lie. I know. No, I know people are going to lie. I don't care if you lie. I grew up with narcissists. When you ask me why I don't believe people, I grew up with narcissists. When you ask me why I don't trust people, I grew up with narcissists. They wasn't with me when I was a kid, but after I turned 14, 15, they was in my life. They don't do nothing but lie. So I don't care what you say. Just so we could be clear. That nigga came up to me and told me that some dudes was following him, some young boys was following him. That's a fact. This is just another thing y'all gonna say is a lie. I don't even care. He and him and his wife know. I don't care if nobody else believe me. Hope his wife hear this too. Him and his wife know. That's all I need to know. I just want to remind her. I don't care if nobody else believe me. 
him and his wife know. You was running from some niggas and you came to me and you got the nerve to ever do or say anything disrespectful to me? That's crazy. A nigga that was there to help you protect your wife? I was there to help you protect your family? And you shit on me? I apologize. Nope, I didn't personally attack Liberty. Liberty sent me something on my phone and then I responded. Liberty's a bitch. Liberty asked me to protect his wife. That's a fact. That's not a personal attack. That's a fact. Liberty asked me to protect his wife because he couldn't do it. Oh, sit in the clouds. I know who you are. I'm kicking you. That's it. Um, that's it. That's all y'all want to talk about is to have the ability to come in here and disrespect me. That's the only reason why people want to come to the show. Don't nobody want to come to the show and talk about the topics. Don't nobody want to come to the show and know what's going on. You just want to have the ability to come to the show and disrespect me. That's it. The only way that y'all want to come to the show if y'all have the ability to come here and beat down on me every day. That's the only way, right? Other than that, there's no reason to be here, right? I get it. Shout out to Elgin Times. It's a loop. It's a Jack Cool smooth. Fucking smooth. My whole entire life revolves around I can't make a living unless I'm just being tore down and destroyed every day. How you going to put your life on the line for a nigga and then he going to go and just be disrespecting you all over social media? You put your life on the line for that nigga. Y'all be wondering why I be feeling the way. I don't know if them big niggas had guns. I don't know if them niggas the type of smoke them niggas was about. And I was outnumbered. And that nigga came and asked me for help. So I can't expect him to help me. What the fuck? And I walked straight up to them niggas. I asked them about themselves, why they was following us and shit like that. And you gonna disrespect me though? When we was out there in the field, in the trenches, and I had your back? No questions asked. You ain't have to say nothing to me, all you have to do is point and shoot. That's it. Them niggas? And I'm the dude that you disrespect and don't show no respect to and talk crazy about. And try to make homeless. Me. I'm the guy that you don't want to eat. I'm the guy you, you don't want to make a living. I'm the guy you want the, all the bad shit in the world to happen to. The dude that was ready to lay his life on the line for you and your wife. Elgin Tyne said, young thug need to put his dress on. <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of that man. He's in a fucked up situation. He probably most likely put himself there, though. Um, Elgin Tyne says, uh, do you think they trying to take little, J, little TJ out because he made it out the hood? My dude. I had a... The reason why I had that conversation about this, people that love you and the people that hate you are always trying to 
trick the people that love you into thinking that they love you. You understand? So, this is all jealousy. I'm going through it. I'm going through the jealousy and the envy now. Me being able to do a thing and people wishing that they could do it. And since they can't do it, they want to not let me do it. You understand? And they want it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't believe I'm under God's protection right now. I don't think God is doing anything. To, I don't know. Maybe he's doing shit I don't know about. I can't see. But at this rate, this, this is... I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't... I stopped believing anything was going to get better. I ain't be honest with you. I just stopped believing anything could get better. I'd rather just not believe that things are going to get better. Because I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to believe things are going to get better. And then they don't get better. And I got to be disappointed. Of course it's jealousy. Nine times out of ten, the people that did it know them. Nine times out of ten, the people that did it know them. It's always the people that do you. It's always the people that know you. Whoever the person is that's doing the most harm in your life is somebody at some point that you loved, I promise. The best advice I could give to anybody is if you want to be successful at anything, understand that it's not about who you could take with you. It's about the people you got to let go. I promise you. I was trying to hold on to people. And those people that I tried to hold on to the hardest are the people that's doing the worst shit to me. It just really sucks. Anything else? Uh, did I respond to that uh, appropriately? Um, well, that nigga told me that him and his wife was in danger, and I went and jumped in front of between him and the thing that was endangering him and his family, and that nigga be disrespecting me. That shit is crazy. He about to call me a liar too, so I hope he do that so God could pull up on me. I hope you don't be honest. I hope you lie. So God could pull up on you. So I hope you lie. Be honest with you. So I, I'm, I'm all the way over here. I would love for God to pull up on me. So I hope you lie. Um, I guess that is. Was there anything? I think there was something else I want to say about Biden because I'm just really upset at that guy. Um, no, I guess that's it. I don't really got nothing else. I don't really want to hold y'all. I don't know how many more of these shows is gonna be. To be honest with you. I mean, one way or another, we're about to be over, right? One way or the other. We probably don't got another month. That's why I told you it don't make a difference. I, I don't even really need to be doing these shows. Like, it don't make sense for me. To, nobody likes the shows. And on top of that, the only reason why you do live streams is to get donations. We already know I'm never going to get no donations. So there's no reason for me to do live streams. So 
only reason to do these shits is to get donations and interact with the audience. The only people that want to talk to me is the people that don't like me. And there's not going to be any drops. So there's no real reason for me to be doing this. I'm just literally just coming up here and doing this just to be doing it, right? Hold on one second. Hold on one second, everybody. Look, I just want to make this clear to everybody in the chat. Don't nobody got to donate anything. We don't ask for donations over here. You don't want to donate, don't donate. You know. Let's just make that clear. That's one. Mm -hmm. Two, if you want to ask a question to the guest and you can't drop a dollar to ask a question, then you don't probably need to ask no questions. But we don't need the donations. You don't have to donate. But if you want to ask a question to the guest and you can't drop 99 cents, a dollar to ask a question to the guest, then maybe you should, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. My fault, gentlemen. Y'all can continue. Just be honest. Y'all, nobody's gonna talk to me except for the people I don't want to talk to, right? Maybe if I do seven shows, I, I say two out of every ten shows, the people that actually like me talk to me. Majority of the time, the only people that talk to me is the people that don't like me. And maybe out of thirty days, I get drops on four or five shows. So this is, this is, this is over. Y'all didn't want it. I kept, I've been asking y'all for the last two weeks, what, what do y'all want? Nobody's telling me what y'all want. Y'all obviously don't want this. So this is going to be over one way or the other. Obviously I can't keep doing the show. Everything has an expiration date. Just like your fucking ability to chat in this chat. I've been wanting to kick you. My father told me as long as he's alive, nothing I do will ever work. I was, I've been hoping he could die. I'm being 100% honest with you. My father told me, as long as he alive, I will never succeed at nothing. This whole entire time, I've been hoping he passed away. I sincerely believe that nothing I do in life is going to work until he dies. I am not a real one for discussing my personal life. I'm just a person that don't have nobody and don't even know what love feels like. I honestly don't even know what it feels like to be loved. I tell people that, they don't believe me. I'm never going to know how it feels to be loved.
You know, my father just hates me. My father's always hated me. My father has, my father and my brother pay people to stalk me on the internet. This is not a mind game. My father used to go to people who used to offer me jobs as a kid and tell them not to give me a job. My father used to employ me. And then when I go work for him, don't pay me my money. My father is not a good person. My father used to have people follow me around to tell him everything that I'm doing when I was a teenager. My father used to pay my cousins and my friends to follow me around and tell him what I'm doing. So no, you do not know this man. Absolute insanity. Y'all say don't quit, but don't nobody support the channel. Y'all say don't quit, but don't nobody support the channel. I'm 60. I've been 68 people in here with 17 likes. I can't get likes. I can't get comments. I can't get reshares. I can't get views. I can't get nothing. Only people that people want to watch is the people that hate me. All these people care about is my destruction. That's it. Don't nobody care about nothing else. And I got a racist fucking dude following me around the internet now. Some racist nigga. Niggas hate me so much that they co-sign racist niggas. I don't have the rest of the time on me. They, as, as far as they're concerned, are they trying to make me die as soon as possible. I do not have the rest of the time. I'm going to say this one more time before I get off. The negative comments isn't the problem. The problem is they've convinced everybody to stop donating, stop watching, stop coming to the channel, and everything else. That's the issue. If I actually had supporters and supporting people, that wouldn't I wouldn't care that much. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But me knowing... That nobody is ever going to ever support me again. That nobody's never going to care about my platform again. That nobody's never going to... Ah! Sometimes you just got to know when it's over. Sometimes you just got to know when it's over.
I can't travel. I have zero dollars. How am I traveling anywhere? How am I traveling anywhere? Please tell me how am I traveling. Explain to me how I'm going to travel with no money. Explain to me how I'm going to do anything with no money. Explain me how I'm going to do anything with no money. Anything. Nah, no matter what I do, it's going to fail. As long as my father's alive. It's no reason for me to try. No matter what I do, it's gonna fail. Fuck that shit just jumped up on my arm like that. Did that just switch by itself? The fuck is that going on for? Man, that shit just turned on my ass for no reason. Anytime anybody says anything about me, everybody believes it. I, there's no way I could win. So you could just make up any lie. If you understood the lies that's being said about me, you'll understand what I'm saying. Nah, I'm not making amends with that man. I need for him to die. What the fuck? I am never going to make amends with him. There's nothing that could happen. And I don't care what happens to me. And if it means me dying or making amends with him, I'll happily die first. Happily. That's not a thing. I'll happily live the rest of my life miserable if I don't never have to speak to him again. I would much rather prefer that. I would much rather prefer what I have right now than speaking to him. I prefer worse. I prefer to just kill myself than to speak to him. That's a fact. I was about to move out. I go to my father. He's sitting in his room. I say, you know what, Dad? All of that shit that happened to me when I was a kid, all the fucked up ways that y'all treated me, all the shit that y'all did to me, 
I said, you know what? It's okay. Just forget about it. You know what? I'm not even going to hold you to it. Right? But we just forget about it. Right? Now, mind you, I'm paying all the bills when I'm telling him this. Right? You know what him and my... I don't even know if my brother was involved. But you want to know what they did shortly after that? They broke all of my equipment. They broke all of my equipment. My 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 uh my my microphones, my old computer, this computer right here. Where the computer at? This computer right here. They broke this computer. That don't work anymore. They broke that computer. They broke like three of my mics. Costed me thousands of dollars so I couldn't move out the house. Right after I told him, I forgave him for the fucked up shit that he did to me as a child. So no, I'm never speaking to that man again. I'm not mad because they abandoned me. I want to be clear about this. I'm not mad because they abandoned me when I was in second grade. I'm not even mad that they left me to live by myself until I was uh, in like seventh or eighth grade. I'm not even mad at that. I'm upset that they know how hard I struggled in life to do everything. Because they've been the people that's been trying to fuck me up my whole life. And then when I finally get to a point where I can go do what I want to do and live the life that I want to live, they go do everything they can to destroy it. That's my issue. That's my issue. I don't even know how to get you the computer. And every single time somebody said they're going to do something for me, they screw me over. First thing I could do is make friends. Every time I make a friend, it's not a friend. The worst thing I could do is meet people. Um, there's most likely not going to be a show in the morning. As I don't. I might play video games tonight, but like I said, I know y'all don't like the show, so there's no reason for me to do the show. Obviously, sooner or later, this is going to be over, so I don't. It just don't make sense. One more, t I just want to be clear. If people stayed supporting the channel, the haters wouldn't matter. The fact that everybody has decided that they are going to unanimously not support the channel no more, the haters are just going to win. So don't come in here and tell me, have faith. Don't come in here and tell me that. Because the same people that are saying have faith is the same people that's watching me and not doing nothing. So don't, don't, don't have, tell me to have faith, please. I already know that ain't nothing good gonna happen. So don't tell me to have faith. Don't try to tease me. I don't like being teased. Cowboy just went on the stand to say something that was actually important. Cowboy went on the stand and he said that all he said was is that Nipsey never called dude.
So the people who hate me have a whole community of people supporting them. I'm by myself. So yes, they wake up with a lot of energy. I wake up drained. I sleep nine to 10 hours a day now. I used to sleep like four hours a day. I sleep nine to 10 hours a day now. I think today I might have slept like 11 or 12 hours. I'm not even 100% sure. So yeah, people that got people that support them and people that are there for them tend to have a lot of energy. People that's all by themselves fighting the world, yeah, they tend not to have that much energy. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. I don't ever expect anything good to ever happen to me again. I'm just being honest with you. I 100% expect whatever they're trying to do to me to succeed. I 100% expect anybody that ever liked me to start hating me. genuinely don't know how I feel. Nah, people, they just convinced everybody to hate me, homie. My dude. They just convinced everybody to hate me. What they're doing is apparently is they're just going on their channel and they're saying like wild, extravagant things in order to get me to respond. But I'm not gonna respond because that's not I don't I don't I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna do that. I wanna I hope to see you in person. I don't wanna respond. Like I also don't want to go to jail. I don't want to talk about it. Oh yeah, and 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 James S isn't actually tough. Just so y'all know, he's not actually tough. He's just a tall white dude. He not tough. He pussy too. He really is though. Like he really is pussy. He not tough. He just faking. DZ and the dudes DZ was with, they look like they, you know, they look like they only they about they shit. They don't look like they start trouble, but they look like, you know what I'm saying, they could finish it. But yeah, I meant to tell you that. Like James S. Like that's why when he be trying to talk tough and shit, I'll be like, really? Like, right, shout out to that shit. I don't think he a pussy though. Let me take that back. I don't think he a pussy. I just, you know, I just don't think, I just don't think he's tough. I think he's one of those dudes that, you know, he's gonna talk crazy and then if you punch him in the mouth a couple of times, you know. That's why they trying to, that's why they trying to make me homeless. They try to force me to go back to those people house. I promise you that's not happening. That's not a thing. Can we get five to ten, ten dollar drops to the cash app? Can we get five to ten ten dollar drops to the cash app? 
I'm going to make a call. We'll see what happens. LT says, from what I heard, uh, Cowboy was given a subpoena. He was given a subpoena. He has to go show up for the subpoena. That's what I mean by whack 100 is crazy. Them motherfuckers is trying to make me homeless so I could become a slave again. I'm not going back to being a slave, nigga. That ain't never going to happen. I promise you. Valdez and Boyd was also found to be in possession of an unlawful weapon and were each charged with second degree unlawful possession of a weapon in the office said to make me homeless and force me dependent. So they're going to make me homeless to try to force me back to be a slave. And y'all motherfuckers that's supposed to fuck with me is going to sit here and watch to make me homeless and force me to go back to being a slave. And y'all don't think I should be depressed and upset. Three men arrested. So there's no reason for me to do these shows no more, right? There's no reason. Because y'all just here to try to force me to go back to be a slave. So there's no reason for me to do these tonight shows and morning coffee no more, right?